Hey, I'm DowCaster. Today I'll be teaching you how to buy Star Atlas Dow, otherwise known as the Polis token. But here's 10 seconds on why you should care. Play to Earn Gaming has given us really shitty games for a really good profit. Star Atlas will be the first AAA game, think Call of Duty production level, and before you were even able to stake Polis, $200 million has already been spent on people buying spaceship NFTs, which you'll be able to actually play during the game when it's released. So if the game will actually be better, how do you think it'll stack up against these governance tokens if it reaches the same circulating supply? I, for one, am not missing out, so let's dive in. First thing you want to do is you want to log into whatever centralized exchange you're going to be using. I'm going to be using crypto.com and the reason why I like that is because there's no holding period. You can put funds in and you can take them out immediately, which is what we're going to be doing. So I'm going to go to my crypto.com app. Now, when you actually try to buy cryptocurrency, that's when it'll ask for your banking information. So I'm going to click the center button down here. Then you're going to click on the buy button. Then I'm going to be trading for USDC. So I'm going to look for USD coin, click that and I'm only gonna buy 15. Then you'll click buy 15 USDC. And I'm using a credit card because it's much faster and I wanna do this walkthrough right now instead of wait a couple minutes or an hour or so. Most centralized exchanges will allow you to use a direct link to your bank account, which will not cost a fee like this. This is only happening to me because I'm choosing to use a card. So I'll click the checkbox, I'll click continue. I will confirm my order and I'll enter my passcode. Perfect, now that I've purchased 15 USDC, I'm gonna transfer it to my Solana wallet. Now to do this, let's open my Solana wallet. I'm gonna switch over to my desktop here. So on my desktop, I'll click on Phantom, which is my wallet. I'll make sure I'm logged in. And I'm just gonna click this and copy it to my clipboard. Now, because I'm using Mac products, because I copied it on my computer, it'll automatically be copied on my phone. Send it to yourself somehow, text it, put it in Slack, Discord, something. Just get, get that code, that wallet address to your phone. So copy it. Then on your app, you're gonna to wanna to click on accounts or wherever you can see all of the money that you have. I'm gonna click on USD coin. I'm gonna click the transfer button and I'm gonna click withdraw. Next, I'll click external wallet and I'll click add wallet address. This part is very, very important. You have to send it on the Solana network. This is the most, the most important step in the whole thing. I like to move quick through these, but you cannot miss this, okay? If you send it to the wrong network, your money is gone. I've lost a lot of money at the beginning of my crypto journey by sending it on the wrong network. So I'm gonna move over, make sure it's on the Solana network. I'm going to paste in my coin address. Then I know my wallet's name is wallet one because I just haven't named it anything yet. And I'm gonna click continue. So that was just me adding the wallet. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click Withdraw USDC, and I'm gonna click right here in the middle of the screen that says Max 30 USDC, and click Withdraw. I'm gonna make sure all the information is correct, and click Confirm, and my passcode again. Next, we wanna check our wallet to see if the USDC arrived. So I'll click on my Phantom wallet, and if I scroll down, I'll see my $30 of USD coin right here. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to Radium.io. Click Launch App. First thing you wanna do when you get in here is connect your wallet, so we'll click Connect. We'll choose our wallet that we have. We're using Phantom and we're connected. So let's get going. From the first drop down, I'm going to choose USDC. From the second drop down, I'm going to type in Polis. Then it should show up right here. I'm going to click max, meaning I'm going to choose all of my USDC. I'm going to convert it to Polis. Then I'll click swap and approve the transaction. And now you have Star Atlas DAO or Polis in your wallet. And that's it. That's all you have to do to buy Polis token now before people can start staking and generating it for themselves. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something. To stay caught up on everything Star Atlas, be sure to subscribe to this channel to be alerted when I post more videos. See you later.